Good evening and uh, welcome to the 30 December 1941 turn of the Ecklopper versus Wearaway play by mail game. Should find out this turn how tough his blocking position is going to be. Oh, Pollock uh, sitting along a rod I'm using to move some base forces. I have to rewrap those. She missed them. Anyway, we should find out during the ground combat phase how tough his blocking positions are going to be along the Ankang Road, at least the first one. U.S. destroyers trying to run down I-20. We need to move for patrol zone. She was spotted last turn. I invasion forces in southern Java. This is tanks and infantry with a little bit of support to be able to set up an airfield. They're covered by two light carriers with about 50 zeros on board flying cap. And some pretty considerable surface forces. I don't expect they are at significant risk. Those darn patrol boats caused a little bit of damage last turn. Don't mind seeing the Nels reporting hitting them. Mm -hmm. Recon didn't go in in the fifth fleet area. So I'll have to make a decision whether to land or not. Perhaps blind. We'll see. Still hitting my troops on the beachhead. He spotted my invasion task forces headed towards Palembang. Oh, Recon did fly in the fifth fleet area over the Aleutians. Looking at this cap here, not much.
Okay, let's see what happens in ground combat. Okay, sort of the main event. Watch the 59th Division in particular, I'm sorry, Core in particular. The 59th Core is sort of anchor of his blocking position the others are sort of soak off units pretty good oh he's low on supply according to these data my armor losses and disablements are modest nice both destroyed and disabled so this is a Good first round here along the Ankang Road. A tank regiment should deal easily with Pandari. It does. Damage Hudson left on the field. We're good. Armored cars getting the upper hand on an element of the 12th Chinese Corps. Ah, it's just a headquarters unit trying to block the road or the rail. And Let's see if this reinforced company can take the base. It does. Good. Pretty easily. You disabled squads on my part. Looks like that AA unit lost almost all its or all of its guns. This looks bad. It isn't particularly. He's still bombarding up the north. Okay. Shiro and Guam, San Fernando and Joe Baru and Rabal all expanding. So we'll have to make a decision whether to land in the Aleutians or not. And check the supply of our armor units, see if they then attack again or need to wait for resupply. Start off just looking overall. He flew quite a few, well, the Dutch flew quite a few missions with relatively few losses. I, on the other hand, had some ops losses. Hey, so let's just check out. See, Jake. It's interesting. Okay. And the bow. No real areas of concern. Interesting. Allied points for ship sunk is climbing. 
Let's just jump over to the illusions real quick. I saw the recon go in, but I'm not showing any. Apparently the inexperienced pilots on board the Nagato didn't provide any useful attention intelligence, but we will accept risk and land our troops at Unmac. Here, let's just double check. Yep. We're short supplies, so we won't attack this turn. We'll wait one turn. They are well within 30 supply, I guess, friction points is how I describe it. These road hexes, if I recall, are. Three road main, yes. So three, six, nine. So they should receive, they'll receive supply at the uh, highest rate per week in the number of days per week. So that's good. So we'll plan on waiting a day and then attacking again. We can just look through these units quickly. Oop. Full strength. It's got a few disablements. One medium. Light tanks disabled. So yeah, they're, they'll be ready to go after a brief rest. Let's check and see. Recon is picked up. Looks like he has aircraft to Chunking, but we don't have much clarity on what yet. We we'll, should find out next turn. He's not really repairing Changsha, so he may not be planning on defending there much. If you recall, we're going to bypass his blocking position southeast of Shangsha and go this way. He's in times three terrain here, but we don't have to go that way. Also be useful to force the withdrawal. I'll, I'll cut these guys off. And while we're moving on Wuchao, moving on Guangzhouan, still has those ships hanging out there without any fighter cover. You may be just dangling them there or Bait, but we have some vowels now well reasonably well trained in range so we'll jump them over find some fighter cover and see if we can put an end to much of what remains of the asiatic fleet our escorts linked up here we now own kandari we own lantern so we can shift these troops to land at Kopang. So we'll move on Kopang instead of reinforcing a turn here. And I think go back, pick up the tanks, probably send them to reinforce our landing at Samarang and use 
the SNLF that's loading here. Nope. Actually. Where are they? Ah, so here are the two SNLFs. They'll go to Copang. They'll divert the Macassar. We'll pick up the tanks and move them under air cover to Samarang. Looks like he did not move his torpedo boats to threaten Sam my landing at Samarang. And we'll bombard next turn and find out what he's got. Sorbaha. This is good. Here comes our re armor reinforcements to Palembang. We'll go ahead and check and see how our beachhead is doing. Fatigue and disruption are okay, but Definitely starting to 16th, this third of its squads are disabled. Well, 91st is, is in better shape. Okay. Neither of these are particularly in trouble. Not with the landings 24 hours out. Made some progress repairing the airfield. Looks like we're ready to reduce Ching. Ready to cross to Singapore. We'll start moving now. We have another division as a third wave. If we need it. Probably cross with four divisions, leave one division in reserve, really two divisions in reserve. These are paratroopers for Singhuang. Imperial Guards have finally made it to Molin. Let's confirm the reconnaissance from last month, last lump. Last turn, yep, it's got quite a few troops at Lasho. As he good. We'll pick up one of the SNLFs, company size SNLFs here. Start cleaning up these dot bases again, partly as a Deception plan. I don't want to move down the chain yet to draw his attention while our deception operation towards Johnson Island is moving ahead. Check out the KB. Turn off the Cates and Valves doing ASW here since they're well covered by ASW from Guam, Truck, and Double Dub. And in fact, I have some Kates here that I would put in ASW mode. You could give the impression the KB is at Veldub. But I think if he's paying close attention, he'll realize that they're B5N1s instead of the N2s that are typically on the KB. So it may not be worth it. And mines and ACM at Marcus and Wake, and our engineers and reinforcements for Marcus and Wake are nearing. So all good. Let me check quickly our industry screen. Uh, 
much easier, almost all prepared. 32s are still expanding. 35s are still expanding. 34 is expanding. Gifu is still struggling to get up to 20,000. I need to take a look at that. Zeros are just about at target. Eights and vowels are plugging along. I don't have got pretty shallow pools and vowels, which is okay. Sally's are at target. Oscars are almost at target. Lilies are still off. I have none in the pool. So if I lose lilies, uh, those squadrons, Sentai, are, are going to just get weaker. I can't afford to build them because of the engines. I need the engines for the Oscars and the Zeros. And the lilies just aren't that important. The dive bomber version that comes sort of at the end of 42, early 43, is a more useful aircraft, but only nominally. Got a few Tina transports in the pool, and that Sentai is full up. I don't have enough factories to build all the different transport aircraft I need at any given moment, certainly. So I have to switch back and forth when I need them. Okay. Roofs are repairing. I need to expand my SAM factories. I don't usually rush to do that right away uh, during December. Just wait a little since my supply situation from other expansions stabilize. But we're getting close. Same with the Graces. Judy's. Night Fighters. The Irving S's. Randy's. Still, they're a long way away, but it's time to. Hmm. Why is repair off on that Randy factory? So, anyway, when I get into January, when I get into 42, I start researching the putting the factory expansions, paying those bills into the 45 and 46, the longer run. Don't don't do it right away uh, during December 41 because I don't want to uh, consume too much of your sur your supply because a lot of your supply needs to go to China at first and then the rest of the theaters. So nothing looks particularly alarming except Gifu's to new struggles. So I need to take a look at that. Okay. Well, thanks for joining again. Uh, we're the next week of game time. Should see some significant battles along the Ankang Highway in China uh, and crossing of the river into Singapore, reinforcement of Malambang and the first ground fights of Malambang and the continued uh, battle for southern Java, one side of battle at the moment, and the beginnings of our movements in South SOPAC and Southwest PAC using the American vernacular. We'll talk again soon.